three years later. Isaac, haven't you finished mending the roof yet? You're almost done? Okay, keep at it! Is that Jenna? That's Garrett. Hehe, <laughs> still training Garrett? Yeah! And he moved it! With synergy! You sure do put your heart into it, Garrett. Oh, I'm just finishing up. That's good. It's a it's time to go, and I was about to leave you behind. Say, what exactly happened to you two? The accident three years ago? Sort of a random thing to bring up three years later. Is that why you've been studying synergy? I appreciate your concern, but my family's never coming back. Oh, poor Jenna. And neither is Isaac's mother. Oh, poor us. I just want to forget that day. I wish everyone would. That awful day, we went to get help, but they found us unconscious. Well, let's get Isaac and go to Kraydens. Who's a Kraydon? What, Garrett? Huh? You were about to say something, weren't you? Don't be weird, Garrett. You tell him, Jenna. Whatever. Jenna, are you mad at me? I don't know what you're talking about. Come on! <laughs> Garrett is so clueless. Isaac, what? Isaac's waiting for us. But Jenna! I think you need to you need to learn when to drop it, Garrett. I'll leave you behind if you're too slow. So on the roof is Isaac. Grown up Isaac at a at a man at a manly mature age of 14 or so I want to say <laughs> he, he's he's not very old he's definitely a teenager in any case and he too can now use synergy good job Isaac You patched it nicely. Uh, I'd be careful where you stand. You are very reliable, Isaac. Just like your father was. What is it, Isaac? Do you still think about the accident? Uh, yes. I thought so, Isaac. You and Garrett have been working yourselves to the bone, studying synergy. Do you th think things would be any different if you'd had, ha if you had had stronger abilities? Um. Yes. Yes, I think I I think if I had the ability to move things back then, 
I would objectively have been able to save Felix before the boulder went and killed them all. That's what I thought. I was devastated when Kyle died. I felt all alone. It's taken some time, but I'm better now. I still have you, Isaac. You're almost 17. You've so you're so much like Kyle was when he was young. Oh, he's 17 actually. Then he's older than I thought he was. Still a teenager, but older than I thought he was. I'm looking forward to seeing where life takes you. Ma <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. Good old Jenna. Hello, Jenna. Good morning. Yes, yes, good morning. Off with you now. Oh no, not him. Not on my roof. Well, if it isn't Garrett, too. Come to wreck more roofs, have you? I mean, how do you think it got ruined the last time? <laughs> Where do you all plan to go today? Seriously though, think about this. They're ha having this conversation on on the top of a thatch roof. Seriously. <laughs> We're going to Mount Alf with Creighton. Mountain climbing with Creighton, eh? Kids and their games. No, it's part of our studies. Yeah, because Creighton is a kid, right? I guess. Yeah, that would make sense. Really? Actually, yeah, that would make sense if Creighton was another kid. It would indeed. Ah, yes, alchemy. Alchemy is the foundation of all synergy. And as you all know, Mount Alf is the greatest source of alchemy. They say Creighton is the best teacher around. Okay, so I guess he's not a kid, like a some sort of in some sort of scholar or instructor, I guess. Alchemy. I wonder what use it all has is has whatever. Your mother would rather see you grow up to be a happy, ordinary man. Oh wait, she's talking to Isaac. I thought she was talking to Jenna. She's, you see, she confused me because she's speaking in the third person. But I suppose you still want to go. Uh, yes. Well, if that won't persuade you, I guess nothing will. You're just as stubborn as your father. Be careful, ma'am. <laughs> she just fell off the roof. And Garrett fell through it. I knew it! That bastard ruined my roof! Oh, that was exciting! I'm sorry I scared you like that. <laughs> you see, this, this is why I love this game. Well! Looks like it happened again! I, I'm sorry ma'am. I'll get out of your way right away, and I swear it won't happen again. No, not there! Ah! Garrett is hopeless. <laughs> but hilarious. But hopeless. Oh, never mind. <laughs> But you'd better get going. This old house will fall apart if you stay much longer. Especially him. Make him leave. <laughs> oh, Garrett, Garrett, Garrett. What will we do with you? I'll get this fixed up. You don't have to hang around here. 
Thank you, ma'am. Please, call me Dora. We'll get going right away. Damn straight you will. Wait, Garrett, just watch your step. <laughs> well, there was still one more hole for him to punch through the roof. Hey, and we have Jenna now. Cool. I told that clumsy I told that clumsy Garrett it would be alright. Well what am I gonna do about this hole? <laughs> okay, so before we go any further, we have new equipment. Well, this is new anyway. Uh I sincerely doubt anyone else can wear this. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> However, we're gonna steal her gloves because they are oh wait, no, they're the same gloves. Okay, we're just gonna steal her herbs. Or herb, however you say it. It doesn't really matter. And let's look at Synergy. Um, Isaac can use Cure and Move and Retreat. Retreat does... Well, it says right there. Returns you to the dungeon entrance. Um, move is the thing we saw, saw Garrett using earlier. And Cure is healing HP. Garrett can also use move, and in fact, we are going to... You see these two shortcuts? They are immensely helpful. Move is going to be on one of our shoulder buttons for basically the entire game. It is the core synergy. Uh, let's also... I already was in here, but I want to... Oh! Right, I should do this before I forget. You notice that they all have classes, right? That is a fairly complex mechanic. The classes will change later on as we do different things with, with our characters. It's not based on level. It is based on that secondary con uh, collectible that I talked about last episode. But it affects all of their stats when it changes, including um, this stuff, which... One thing you'll notice here, there's four of these, right? They are for each of the three Greek or four Greek elements: earth, water, uh, fire, and wind. Each character is an adept, which means they can do synergy, and they are an adept of a given element. Isaac is earth. Garrett and Jenna are both fire. The power is how much power they have when they're using a synergy that uses that, that element while the resistance is, well, how much damage they t take reduced when they take damage of that element. Um, I don't remember what the elemental level is for, <laughs> unfortunately, but it is convenient for pointing out what, uh, which type of adept each one is. Um, I also wanted this because they both have battle synergy. Which we'll get to see later on. And move is fire? Really? I thought it was earth. Well, whatever. Um, yeah. They both have flare, which is a, an a battle synergy. I will explain what the little columns beside the center one mean. One column, well, yeah, I'll explain it later in ba when we get in battle. Uh, but first... But first, we said we had stuff here. Let's see if it was actually true. I did warn you that I would probably waste some time like this. I'll try to keep it in check later on. Actually, eventually we get a character that makes this sort of thing a lot um, less tedious because he can identify where the stuff is, but we that hasn't happened yet. Being an adept, hone your synergy do not use it for evil! Okay then. Apparently Isaac didn't have any stuff, by the way. <laughs> Bookshelf! There's a book titled The Legend of Mount Elf. It says the mountain's name refers to the origin of all things. Um... 
No. Ah. No, I can't do that. And... Okay, there's nothing in here, I don't think. Maybe I just check. Yeah, okay. Now, I think we are going to the plaza. I think? I don't remember where Kraden is exactly. Veil vale must remember remain hidden. Synergy's secrets mustn't fall into the wrong hands. If one of our the laws of our village is is one of the laws of our village handed down from long ago. The secret of the Armstrong line has been handed down for generations! But I remember him being sort of out of the way. So I think maybe he's over here. Oh! Do we have do we have... We do not. I want the nut! <laughs> I can't get the nut. We get a synergy later on that can grab that. But we don't have it yet. We don't have it yet. And this was sort of just left like this. Can we... No. Now I thought for sure there was something in that box. This place looks just like it did three years ago after the storm. That's kind of sad. Oh wait, 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 wait. I just remembered something. I don't think Crane is over here, but... Oh. There's some puppies playing over there. We should let them be. Damn it, it won't let me go over. Maybe I can go from the top though. Hmm. 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 By the way, quickly, I just want to show this. You can push these things by hand as well. Move is useful because you can do it from a distance. Um, you're in trouble now, Garrett. Your sister's really mad. Plus also, plus also with move, you can move things to the side or towards you as well. Whereas pushing, you can only, well, push. Veil vale stays pristine because of Mount Elf's purity. Taint that purity and you risk terrible retribution. Okay, wait a second. I need to go back over here because, yeah, I'm pretty sure Garrett crushed her flower bed. <laughs> Garrett, you make me so mad sometimes. And she actually has her own portrait. Cool. You cr your trinity stone crushed my flowers. You're in for tonight. Just wait and see. <laughs> Garrett is such a dunce. But he's a lovable dunce. Do you need to go past here? Yes. You must be go- Oh, his cottage is this way. Okay then. I guess I was- HIM! <laughs> they seem to know little of Soul Sanctum's mysteries. The elders of Vale must not permit anyone to enter it, not even Kraden. Kraden, can we use him? Hmm, his knowledge is no meager thing. We can use him. But he's more stubborn than we expected. And cunning too. Cunning beyond measure. He won't go willingly. Then we can always... Always what? You there! What are you doing? What are we doing? What are you doing? Were you eavesdropping on our conversation? Yes. Ho ho! Well, I can't permit you to continue spying! Hey, you're the ones who were sneaking around. Sneaking? Who are you to accuse me? So, Creighton's arrangement was with you. Yeah. We, we're off to meet him, right? Yeah, just tell him everything, Jenna. <laughs> and this appointment is important enough to drive us away? Yes. <laughs> In your face. We're more important than you, so there. 
Oh, that's gonna sound terrible. I'm gonna need to edit that out. Um, if your errand is more important than our own, then... Go. You're letting us go? Are you sure, Seteros? Men already, we have no reason to delay these children any further. I gotta tell you, it was actually really hard for me to not say their names when, when we were fighting them before. I mean, the battle was short, so it wasn't too bad, but had we survived more than one turn, and it is very possible to survive several turns in that fight, she doesn't always just instantly kill you. Um, but yeah, if we had survived more than one turn, it would have been really hard for me to do it. Did you hear those awful growls coming from the other side of this fence? Yes. You do, don't you? I'm scared! And the boulder is still here. And was that someone up here? It was! Just who were they? It's an old man. They already know so much about Soul Sanctum! Actually, I should be careful. This guy has a lot of dialogue. It, so, I don't want to give him a voice that's really hard to um, do. I mean, I don't think he, I don't even remember how much he's in this game, but I know when he's in it, he talks like, a, like crazy. And I'll just strain out my voice too much if I give him a hard voice. Things, things that even the Elder of Vale didn't know. So I'll give him Galu voice? Yeah, right, that's like the opposite of an easy voice. And what were they saying about the elements? Right, you know, I'll work out his, his voice later. The elements of alchemy, earth, water, fire, and wind. They plan to set them into motion? And the four elemental stars are the key. These are things even I, a trained sage of alchemy, do not know. Hey, buddy, we're gonna go check your pots first. Oh yeah, we found it! Oh, it's just an elixir. Okay, I'll explain this. Oops. Now, cause I may as well. That thing? This? It cures three status effects, delusion, stun, and sleep. Now two of these wear off at the end of a battle. Uh, delusion might not, I don't remember. I think it probably does though. Um, elixirs are, s the th are, elixirs are just straight up worthless, is what they are. You get so many of them for free, and they're dirt cheap, and they are just not useful most of the time. I mean, well to be fair actually, in the very early game they are useful. Because being able to unstun a party member in a key battle is very valuable in the first quarter of the game or so. But after that, you have so much other stuff going for you that it is not really um, important at all. They are just, they just fill, take up inventory space, which by the way, which by the way, we have limited inventory space. Um... Basically, you see this page here with five on on with five on a row. Well, one of these pages holds fifteen, and I think we get two pages per character, maybe three, but I'm pretty sure it's two. So yeah, inventory that that may seem like a lot right now, but we by the by the time we get halfway even halfway through the game, we'll be filling up a quarter of that space just with equipment and another quarter of it with consumables that actually matter meaning not elixirs so yeah it is actually a bigger eh, inventory management is actually important in this game oh Isaac you look like something's bothering you that was Jenna <laughs> Me? Ah, well, do you know me? It's those two, isn't it? Satyros and Minardi. 
Minority is kind of hard to say. I'm gonna need a. I'm just gonna need a run with it. Um, <laughs> if I screw that up. Were their names right? Yeah, break up that sentence. Are they still out there? They're very persistent. Did they want something from you, Kraden? That seems to be the case. Maybe I'll just give him a completely inappropriate voice like Mid. Because Mid's voice is, e is actually really easy to do. I just need to hold my nose and feel, talk a little bit more th nasally than normal. And you have Mid's voice. Um. <laughs> Ladies. Seems to be. <laughs> yeah. Mount Alf and Soul Sanctum. They've spoken as if they've seen them with their own eyes. Yeah, I'll work out his voice for next episode. Anyway. Isn't that strange? Um... I... Now... Hmm... Would Isaac think it's strange is the question, because I don't think it's strange. But I know things that Isaac does not know. Um, and that you may not know if you haven't played this game before. <laughs> Although I think it's not really strange even if you do haven't played the game before, because come on, just look at them. One of them's blue. <laughs> uh, let's, let's humor him. Yes, you can't enter Mount Elf without a very good reason. And if they enter secretly, they might e even be thieves. We have to go and tell the High Elder and the villagers! Wait, everyone! I still don't know how accurate these things they said were. We can do nothing until we confirm what they told us. Then what should we do? Well, we go confirm it. Do you mean we should go into Soul Sanctum ourselves? Yes, yes he does, Garrett. Yell louder so everyone in the village can hear you. Isn't that impossible? Why would it be? Just because climbing Mount Elf is forbidden? Uh, yes. We're just going to see whether they've been to the mountain. Surely that would be acceptable. Oh ho ho, Craven, you crafty old man, you. We'll be fine if they don't see us, right? Um, no. Sure, you say no, but you know you want to. Uh, he sort of, he sort of has me there. This will be our secret, okay? Uh, no. <laughs> No, Isaac, you can't even tell your mother! <laughs> then it's just like it. Oh, this game. Just, it's so great. Just for the humor alone. We'll make Isaac a leader, is that okay? Yes, it's okay. We can't possibly trust Garrett to lead us, that's for sure. And while I think Jenna would make a deep... Well, no, I don't, actually. Jenna is too hot-headed to be a leader, to be to be a good leader, to be blunt. Um, she's good to have on your team, just not to be have her in charge. There are some dangerous places between Mount Elf and Soul Sanctum, but you can handle it, right, Isaac? You better believe it. You're more cautious than Garrett is, Isaac. You'll be fine. But you don't have to be so blunt. Yeah, yeah, she does. She really does. And he grabs the... Pot? No, it's not a pot. It looked like a pot, though. Alright, let's go. You know, remember that he grabbed the... Went out of his way to grab those right now? Just for what happens l later on? I, uh, because I'm gonna try to remember to bring it up then, but... If I don't, just remember that, because it kind of tells you what he had in mind all along. Uh, you, you'll see what I mean when it when it happens. 
Isaac, search the bookcase. Encyclopedia of Alchemy. All things are composed of four elements. Earth, water, fire, and wind. Can I... I cannot pick up the book. Oh, hey, I got coin. Coin. The Fountain of Tolby. The Fountain of Tolby will test your luck. Okay. In the search of ancient Lemurians. Oh, okay. D not... Okay. As far as I know, there are no Lemurians in this game, but they do play into the sequel. The Study of Alchemy. To understand alchemy, you must understand elemental powers. This is where the script ends. They don't appear to contain any particular novel. Yeah, he- well, Craven is indeed a scholar, that's for sure. I really wish I could pick up this book. <laughs> anyway, uh, wow, this has gone long. Uh, I'm gonna stop off here. So, join me next time when we climb Mount Elf in the deep dark secret of the middle of the day. What will we find there? What sort of treasure could it be? And why did Craven go out of his way to grab those bags? They were bags, by the way. Tune in next time to find out! <laughs> and until then, this has been Let's Play Golden Sun with Chaos Blue, and have a nice day.